anything but a barrel of laughs. And what's in these barrels is certainly no laughing matter. This 133-year-old abandoned building on Beekman Street in South Fairmount has been vacant since 2023. Since 1891, eight different manufacturers have called this building home to their production efforts. Production which left behind barrels of waste material, some more dangerous than others. If you get them on your hands, they can burn. Greg Wilfong and his team at Midwest Environmental were tasked by the port to clean up and properly dispose of the waste. Some of the material was a caustic, which is a, a high pH, like a, like a cleaner. If you get that on your hands and over a period of time, it'll, it'll, it'll start to burn and it can cause some health effects. It's all part of the port's strategy to attract new, high-paying manufacturing jobs to Hamilton County while creating cleaner, greener, and safer communities. Our concerns certainly are um, our human health and the environment and safety. We want to make sure that if there is contents in the drums that could leak out, um, that could pose a threat to, say, air quality, um, or if there are toxic materials in the drums that could be spilled, and then we have someone that enters the building, we want to make sure that safety um, for everyone, for the residents and uh, the community is important. Since the port's inception, environmental remediation has been a significant part of its work in Hamilton County. The port's remediation work has resulted in over 250 acres positioned for new development and has positively impacted more than 50 properties in Hamilton County through environmental cleanup and assessment. And the port's not flying solo in these cleanup efforts. The port's strong partnership with the Ohio and U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has been a major driver in creating a healthier Hamilton County. It's through the partnerships that we have with Ohio Department of Development and through the U.S. EPA and the Ohio EPA that we're able to address these things faster than some other entities may be able to. Environmental remediation of buildings like this is often the first step in neighborhood improvement all while unlocking real estate for job creation and economic growth.